seventh international e-bus conference took place in Prague in October 2024. A major focus of the conference was Prague's two new electric bus rapid transit lines, both of which have new trolley wires to power the buses and to charge the batteries for the parts of the lines where there are no trolley wires. Prague has chosen to electrify two demanding routes, operating with large articulated buses and heavy passenger loads. The recently opened line to the airport operates with 25 meter long double articulated buses that can carry 180 passengers. Both of these lines opened in 2024, 52 years after the city's trolley buses were replaced with fossil fuel buses. All of these battery trolley buses are bigger than the city's smaller trams. Bus drivers connect and disconnect the trolley poles with the touch of a button. travel for about half their routes on battery power. Dedicated bus lanes on parts of these routes, and there are also sections of dedicated transit right-of-way shared with trams. With continuous transit lanes, large, in-motion charging electric buses like these can provide high-quality rapid transit for a low capital cost. The rapid transit lines can also be created very quickly, as is required to meet climate targets. The maximum capacity of bus rapid transit lines is similar to light rail lines. Participants got a chance to take a close look at the double articulated buses, which have dual drive motors for improved performance in snow. The double articulated electric buses are maintained in a pre existing garage. Each city with uh, more than 100,000 inhabitants in Europe has to have a sustainable urban mobility plan by 2027, which is a really good occasion also for the public transport community to play a backbone in these plans, to be at the table and to make clear climate neutral cities are not possible without us as a backbone. In Prague, in Prague, we have more than 40% uh, of articulated uh, vehicles uh, in buses line, which is uh, quite uh, uh, quite heavily demanded by, by passengers. And Prague, today, it's uh, it's not flat; it's quite hilly. Uh, from the river, from the river to uh, to the helipad, uh, so operating operating on that um, on that lines 
uh, it's complicated and when we use pure battery buses we will, we will carry the batteries and not the passengers. So that's the idea, we try to, we try to look for, uh, for different solutions uh, for, uh, for different lines and that's, that's the idea which was mentioned by Antonio, it was, which was mentioned by, by also Volkan, to combine, to combine, to combine solutions, to, uh, to combine approach. Yeah, we are, we are looking for development of batteries, but finally the energy we will need for operation will not decrease so much. So we will, we will need to have this energy, we will need to, uh, to, to produce, to, to find the energy and to, and to, and to, uh, and to change the energy from the, from the station to the vehicle. And that's a big advantage of, of a trolley bus, uh, while trolley bus is using the network continually during the day. If, if I compare to night charging, we, 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 we will use this energy only during night, short short term, so, so we will need much more reserve power and reserve power is, is, the, is the most expensive part of, uh, part of energy. Uh, so we have to build infrastructure, but thanks to the development of batteries, we can use trolley bus not conventional mode, but we can use trolley bus on battery mode. So we can avoid some, comp uh, some quite complicated construction, construction in the depot. It's simple construction. You, you, were, you, were, you were yesterday in the project, we have only, we have only, only simple, uh, simple, simple track for charging and no switches, nothing, nothing. Only, only need to for possibility for connect or, or, or disconnect. So it's, it's possible. We can avoid uh, cr cross section and uh, the crossroads, some complicated cross section. So we can avoid, we can avoid some, um, uh, some places where it's uh, not good public opinion to have, uh, uh, to have catenary. So, uh, so we can, so we can work with that. We prepare the infrastructure. As simple as simple as possible uh, at the airport and close to the airport, that is not possible because of safety reason, because of some reason of, of new uh, of new new line uh, new line uh, for for aircrafts. Uh, uh, so uh, so we have uh, we have catenary only uh, only partly only partly from from metro station uh, close to the airport, and this is without uh, without catenary and only only charging station only only using loops. <laughs> Charging, uh, charging roofs. So there are some pictures from uh, test vehicles in in Pilsen and uh, from uh, from uh, preparing infrastructure. There are these there are these charging points at the at the airport. Quite simple, quite simple construction. There is a there is a um, uh, there is a barrierless uh, connection to trams at Divoka Sharka. So we can uh, so we can use same stop for 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 trolley bus and for trams only only uh, trolley bus catenary is little bit little bit side and it's not not complicated so.